Evening all. Where do we start then? I was born in the uh, east end of London in um, um, 1938. I love it down there. I love the people. I still like it down there. The only trouble is I don't go down there too much now because I get lost. The war started two, I think about 18 months after I was born. And it, for kids, I mean, when you got to about three or four, Though there was bombs dropping all the time, it was it was it was fun. You, know, you just thought, oh, there's another house on fire. And obviously during the war, everybody's very close together and all that. It's only the day after the war stops that they all start fighting again, like they do now. No, well, my father was here because he was he, he was in the merchant navy. Yeah, my dad came over from um, Barbados in the early uh, late 18, 1890s, but probably, uh, and. Uh, very nice man. Like he made he made me what I was thinking. He was very gentle. Never had a row with me. Never hit me. Never did anything like that. And I loved him, you know. And my mum's from an Irish background and all that. My family was like eleven kids, but I mean I never met half of them. I mean I was the last one of them. And in fact now I'm the only one left out of all of them because they're all brown bread now. It was just a a, a, a very fun family. No rows or anything. I mean, there was obviously kids' rows and all that. And, and we never had any problems like racial problems with people in Cornwall Street because they, you know, we were basically, we were probably a novelty. You know, people would just say, you know, people would probably say, oh, we've got some black people live next door to us and all that. And they'd be, you should come around and see them. They're almost the same as us. You know what I mean? That sort of thing must have been going on. But uh, basically, I, I, you know, I didn't see, I didn't see loads of, uh, well, I mean, even then, even, till I was about 20, basically. You know, then you, you notice that more immigrants were coming in and all that sort of thing. I don't ever, anybody, I don't remember anybody ever telling me about Windrush or saying that. So that's why I'd never heard of it. I didn't even, I never know what Windrush was until I was asked to do this big show on it in, for the BBC at the, uh, at the Crystal Palace uh, years afterwards. Uh, I had to ask my sister what it was. She said, I'm doing this show for the, uh, to her, I said, I'm doing this show for a thing called Windrush. What was, what was that? She said, oh, it's a boat they all came over on. And uh, that's, uh, that's the first I'd heard about it. And by that time, I was probably about 26. So. Everything's funny to me. Everything's musical to me. Everything is readable to me. And that's uh, how I go through life, and uh, I shall go for the next few weeks that I've got left. <laughs> Simple as that. Click the videos to watch more Londoners, and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>